Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine and I live in Northern Canada and I'm here to do a daily love quickie for you in general. Uh, the collective energy. So if this applies to you, great. Uh, if it doesn't apply to you, next. And uh, hopefully most of you will get something out of it. So I'm going to do like two, one side will be you, the other side will be your significant other. Oh, cards jumped, it's time. For you, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this tells me that you're taking your time. You're pretty much decided in what you want, but you're taking your time. You're in no rush. And I get the feeling that this is, this is perfect, that your significant other, this is perfect. It has an air of mystery around it. Usually when I'm doing readings, it's the significant other that has the knight of pentacles. I'm glad to see that you've got it. Your significant other is the five of swords. So they, this is a defensive energy. Um, one of the, them needing more clarity to look at the situation. They're unsure. Um, I don't get the feeling that it's uh, defensive in a way. It's defensive, not offensive. It's their... They're not completely closed. They're watching you to see where you are at and whether they would have a chance if they approached you. If this is a couple's, then you're just in a state of uh, quiet and they're wondering what's going on in your head. Death. You're transforming. You're transforming. Is what you're doing. Well, no wonder you're quiet and slow. They. <laughs> they're worried. They're very worried. They've only got two cups left. It's like they've blown a lot of chances with you. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. You have victory. You have victory. So whether you are consciously doing this to not teach the other person a lesson, but you're doing this consciously to boundaries. That's it. Boundaries. You're setting up boundaries. You're sticking to them. And you have the victory. They're worried it's F. And they have, oh, the chariot. Hmm. My advice to you is to do or keep doing what you're doing because they're getting ready to make a move on you. And it would be a good idea for you to... to uh, the right words just aren't coming. I was going to say play it coy, but not coy. A careful to... Take it slow. Take it slow. There's all the time in the world for them to prove themselves to you and for you to show them what you're all about. So it's like don't throw don't throw all your cards on the table because you have a winning hand and there's no sense sharing that until the end. Yeah, that's a good analogy. Your card is the king of cups. This could be how you're looking at your uh, interest, significant other, as a fair, loving, generous, compassionate male or female. Uh, but they are, their emotions are in check. Their raindrops are falling on my head is playing. <laughs> yeah. He's got control of his emotions. Or that's how you see him or her this is how you see him or her but as you can see that's not exactly the case they are a little 
or a lot worried about where this is going to go, what the reaction would be if they made a move towards you or expressed their love. Let's see what they have. This is what they want to do with you. New beginning. An absolute new, fresh beginning that begins with gold. This is a relationship with prosperity ahead. So play your cards right. Love yourself first. When you love yourself first, they see that in you. And it's very admirable. <clears throat> the shared... <laughs> the shared energy between the two of you is this. So even though you are being a little to yourself because you are changing, you are transforming. January is a month of beginnings. And with that death card, you have been transforming. This uh, common energy between the two of you is like you are holding on to each other. You do both have hope in your future. And if this is about just a love interest, this both of you are afraid to open up. I think in both love and couples, in singles and couples, you're afraid to open up. Perhaps this is someone from the past. You didn't have the, 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 the best history together. There has been hurt and pain. So it, although it is probably very wise to hold things back, I love how there is optimism here. I love how there is optimism. And here's your final card. Shared energy. Both you and the significant other or interest wants to begin a foundation, to build on a firm foundation. And he's not fooling around at all. That's been your quickie reading. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like or comment so I can get to know you better. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now and God bless.